ah, I can't get this right. Is my program going crazy? Is my brain going? For voices. Okay, yeah. Blue shows us that's voice one. We need the red, which is voice. Who is this guy? To three. Because I follow your steps, but it looks like this. Yeah, not okay. Hey everybody, Jim here. Welcome, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing well and trying to make good music. Yeah, so today's video is about dealing with a bug and a workaround. I had a few subscribers and viewers reach out to me and the rhythm cues, as most of us might know by now, when you have rests in the rhythm cues and when you fill in slashes, there's a collision going on. I did the research and they are very well known. Mark Sabatella and the programming team, they know it's a bug. Pretty tricky bug, I guess, and it might not be fixed till Muse score four, but don't hold me to that. However, I do have an idea and a workaround that should be able to help everybody, and it's just a few other seconds. So let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is just create the cues like a normal person would, and then there's that surprise. There's also another little bug that I wanna share, which hopefully will help everyone. It's fairly quick, so you should feel good about once you get these skills down. Our weapons of choice, I mean tools of choice, will be the inspector, F8, and then the filter, F6. You gotta remember those two, I already have them up here. All right, so let's get started. Measure one through four. We're gonna go ahead and shift down, copy, and then we're gonna go to the drum part, and anyone know what's the next? Yes, we're gonna exchange voices. Go to tools, voices. You're gonna to go to voice one to three. And now we are gonna make rhythm cues. So we're gonna go ahead and select toggle rhythmic slash notation under tools. And then it's time for the fill slashes. I'll use my shortcut here. Do we see the issue going on here? So I feel bad for the users that are clicking on each individual rest because that won't work. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna highlight uh, the four measures here. We're gonna go to filter F6, click on all, and then now just click on voice three. After you have that selected, go back and select the measures again. And then you're gonna go to inspector F8, and then you're gonna click down here. I'll move it up so you can see it. Click rests, click re rest. It's all about the offset and we're going to the Y. So we need to move the rests up. So if you forget like me, just move it one, see how it's going. Great, yeah, I thought it was that. So we need to go into the negative. But Jim, some are taller than the other ones. You're right, and that's the other little glitch. So what we're gonna do, it's not a big deal. By the way, if you have like 80 measures to fix, I would minimize the score as well as you can and then just pick, I don't know, 30 measures at once. We are gonna go ahead and click on that rest floating up in the sky. We're gonna click on that rest and I have the control key down. There we go, control key down and then you don't have to keep it down now. We are going to bring those rests down. So they have our happy home. So there you go. Hope it helps. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I wasn't planning to do this video, but I feel bad when my subscribers reach out. They had a problem and I want to make sure I give the best content I can. So that's why I created this video. So if you do like the content, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe because it helps the channel out. Until next time, please take care and be less buggy. Sorry, happy music making. Bye for now.